Hey my lovelies, my name is Jane and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Just want to give a quick mention to the fact that I've got over 100 subscribers now. So really happy about that, you know, it's taken me a while to get there. I know 100 isn't a lot in the scheme of things, but to me it really does mean a lot to each and every one of you that subscribe to my channel, everybody that watches. There's still a lot of people that watch that aren't subscribed, so if you're not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button, hit your notification bell and you'll get notification when I upload. As you can see, I've got a full face on already today, apart from the eyeshadow. Today we're gonna to be testing out the new Jeffree Star Banana Fetish eyeshadow palette. So really excited about this one, literally waiting at the doorstep for the postman to deliver this one. So I've only looked at it, I've not touched it, I've not done anything to it, I've just looked at it and it is stunning. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So as you can see, it's come in this beautiful yellow packaging. It's got a nice banana on the back as well to match. I haven't taken the label off this bit here. I don't tend to, I wait for them to fall off. Keeps them all nice and pretty. So let's have a look on the inside, shall we? Look, oh my God, isn't she absolutely gorgeous? So yeah, dying to get my hands on this one. It is just so, so pretty. So we've got one, two, three, four shimmers in here and the rest are mattes. It's an 18 pan, what he usually does. I got this one on Beauty Bay in the UK and it retailed for 52 pounds. So normal for Jeffree Star, you know, his quality is sublime. I absolutely love the quality of his palettes. So what are we gonna do today? I will insert some swatches so that you can see them all in action. Okay, so I'm just taking my fluffy brush that I use all the time. So what colours are we going to do today? As you can see, it's a very wearable neutral palette. You've got your pop of blue, your pop of pink. So you can have a little bit of fun with that one. So I think, let's have a, have a look. I think I'm going to go in with this one here, which is certified organic. And we're just going to pop that in the crease. Oh, I need to blend out, I'd say, because I put it on earlier, it's all gone a bit crusty. Let's get me trusty beauty blender, shall we? And just kind of repat that out because we don't want to be putting it on a skanky base because it's just not going to look nice. Okay, right. So I've got my fluffy brush and we're just going to go straight into the crease with that one. So you can see it's there straight away, which is what I like about his, you know, and I'm only tapping in very, very lightly. You don't need to go in heavy handed with any of his. So we're just gonna pop that one on there. Yeah, that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful, let's say. It blended like a dream. It didn't take me very long whatsoever. So I'm going to change out brushes now and I'm going to go in with my sort of flatter fluffy brush. And I think we're just going to change it up a bit. Like I said, because I want to incorporate some yellows, sort of proper yellows as well. So I think I'm going to go in with this colour here, which is cream pie. And we're going to just blend that first colour out with the cream pie. So just tap that one off. And just run that very lightly just to blend all that out. And I'm going to do it up to my brow because, as many of you know, my hooded eyes, it's just the way I prefer to do it. But yeah, it's pretty. I'm just going to put a little bit more on there just so it shows that little bit more. Again, blended like a absolute dream. Let's zoom you in a little. Yeah, I'll see. You can see it a little bit better now. So I'm going to go in with my clean fluffy brush and we're just going to blend that through. Look nice and easy. That's looking nice. I might just put a little bit more of that first colour on. Just to kind of darken it up just a little bit I think today. Why not? Not going anywhere so it doesn't really matter. It's very rare I am going somewhere to be honest. <laughs> Every now and again I do my makeup and then have to go out, but usually it's on a day off from work where I've got nothing else planned, and that's when I like to film my videos. Yeah, 
that's better. Just going to go back in with that fluffy brush, blend that back out again. Yeah, that is so pretty, so so pretty. So I'm going to switch out brushes again, as you as you can tell. I use so many different brushes. It's just the way I like to do it. We're going to go in with a longer, sort of fluffier brush now. I'm going to tap back into that first colour, and we're just going to run that through the crease just to blend, make sure that's all blended through. There you go, just like that. I'm going to wipe that one off on a cloth that I've got at the side. And I think, oh, what are we going to go in with? I think we're going to take a touch of this pound cake and we're going to run that one on the outer edge. That's nice. That's so I only went in lightly, so it's easier to build than it is to take away. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful neutrals palette, like I said, you know, with that little pop of colour. But that is so nice. Just going to run that through just slightly. And then we're going to go back in with the brush that I used for blending out that one. And we're just going to run that through so there's no harsh lines. Because we don't want any harsh lines. But as you can see, so far, that has worked so well so so well okay taking my little flat brush now okay so I've just caught the other eye up neighbours decided to have a mini row so <laughs> I didn't want that picking up on camera so I thought I'll just catch the other eye up until it goes quiet again <laughs> okay so the next colour we're going to go in with G Spot which is this beautiful shimmer here which is like golden yellow reflex in it so let's Give that one a go. As I said, on my nice little fluffy brush. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That packs a punch. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. So pretty. So what, we're gonna go in with our finger and see what the difference is. Wow. Goodness. That's so, wow, that's really, really amped it up. Goodness. That has amped it up so, so much. Wow, <laughs> a bit too much maybe <laughs> for staying at home. <laughs> that is looking so, so nice. Okay, what I might do is where there's kind of a gap on the inner corners slightly, I might, ooh, what colour should we take? I'll tell you what. We've got one called Banana Split, which is, I don't know if you can see where the lights just sort of tilt it a bit. This one here, which is kind of a silvery undertone. And we're gonna take our flat brush and we're just gonna dip the ends into that one. And pop that one on the inner corner. Yeah, that's nice. That really brightens that up as well. So that's really beautiful. Let's say it's just doing everything that it should. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to take my angled brush wherever it is. So I don't usually use this one, so I thought I'd try some of it. Try and do something, you know, a little bit different today. So I'm going to go in with the darkest brown, which is called Don't Choke, which is this one here. And we're going to just line the top of my lash line. And so I just thought I'd try a different brush for a change. You know, change as good as the rest and all that. So we're just going to take that right on that lash line. And so it's a great lash colour. Yeah, that makes such a difference, such a difference. Just going to do the other eye. Yeah, that's it. It's really doing what it's supposed to now. Okay, for the bottom lash line, change it up a bit. <laughs> I might regret this. But that is looking so, so beautiful. Oh, that is just, oh, that is the bee's knees, absolutely. 
Okay, so what are we going to do just to change it up a bit? Do I do the blue or do I do the pink? I think I'm going to go with that blue, you know, <laughs> why not? It's nice trying to incorporate as many colours as possible. So I'm just going to tap my little flat brush like I normally would into that one. Tap that one off. And we're just going to run that under. That's not so bad. Obviously, if you put a white base down, this is going to be so much more vibrant. But I don't really want it that vibrant. <laughs> but it's certainly there and you can certainly see it. That looks all right, actually. Okay, I'm just going to get my little fluffy brush again and just kind of blend that out a little. I'm going to go back in with that outer corner colour, which was pound cake. And I'm just going to kind of put a bit on that outer corner underneath just to kind of tie it in a bit more. Just a, just, just a smidge, just a little, little bit. And so we'll blend that as well. This makes that a little bit more cohesive. Can you see that one going on there? And what we're going to try, <laughs> notice the word try. <laughs> I tried it the other day and it was like, okay, it wasn't so bad. I'm going to do, I never do a wing, but I tried it yesterday. I was like, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm only going to use eyeshadow. I'm not using anything crazy. I'm not there, not by any means. But we're going to go back in with pound cake and we're going to take it on my angled brush again. This could be a complete disaster. Let's have only tried it once. So what we're going to do is from this outer corner, we're just going to create a tiny little wing. I know I said tiny, but you know, <laughs> a little bit more would be nice. As you can see, I am not practiced in this by any means. But the only way that you get good at anything is by giving it a go. So I thought, why not? You know, you know me, my eye makeup's quite boring. I do the same pretty much most times. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I think with my hooded eyes, I've just been a bit too scared to kind of try. So what does that look like? Can you see it? <laughs> can see it, but I, I still think where I've got the hooded eyes, I just think it's just too low. So I need to practice that one. So, you know, What's that smudge there? Mm, not convinced. <laughs> we'll just wash over that. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> but apart from that, I really, really like the way this looks. Even with the blue underneath, I was like a bit dubious. It's like, no, we're doing it anyway. So what I'm going to do now, go pop on some mascara, some liner, and I'll be right back. So we're back and mascara eyeliners on. Just chucked a little bit of um, nude lip gloss over the lipstick I was wearing. But oh my God, that is beautiful. I absolutely love that pop of blue underneath. I was a bit dubious to begin with, not gonna lie, but now it's all sort of together and everything else. Like, oh my God, that is just absolutely stunning. That's a very wearable eyeshadow palette. It's one of those ones that you could use on the daily quite happily, just as an all neutrals. Again, you've got your two pops of color in there. The shimmers are fantastic absolutely gorgeous so really happy with the look I came out ignore the wing that didn't quite work <laughs> but I'm practicing you know that's it that's all you can do practice makes perfect so thank you for watching my lovelies and thank you for helping me hit just over 100 subscribers I absolutely appreciate it so so much as I said earlier so hopefully you enjoy this kind of content if you do please like and subscribe like I say smash that notification bell and you'll get notified of when I upload next. So thank you so much and I will see you all in the next one.